Hi, this is Rand Brenner. I'm President and CEO of Licensing Consulting Group. I specialize in working with intellectual property owners to monetize or make money off their intellectual property. I also work with companies or entrepreneurs who are seeking to acquire intellectual property and make money off that intellectual property. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, a couple of tips in intellectual property, how to monetize it. And specifically we're going to talk about photography. Let me start by saying the artwork. Artwork is a growing category. There's many forms of artwork of which one of them is uh, are, are the photographs. Many different types of photographs, everything from scenery to people, places, and activities. And one of the things about photography as an intellectual property, it has many applications. Now, what are some of the things you can do with the photography? First of all, understand that what you photograph is your intellectual property. It falls under copyright. It's copyrighted at the time that you create it. Be sure when you create your photos that you indicate, that you, that you uh, note on all of your photographic works the year in which you created it, copyright 2009 and your name or company name. Okay, That's very important. That identifies to the world that it is your copyright. Now what can you do with these photographs? There's many things you can do as the owner of the photographs. Um, certainly one of them is you can uh, reproduce them and sell them. The other thing you can do is you can license them out for various uses. What are some of these things you can license them out there? You can license them for others to use on their websites. You can license them for others to use in brochures or books or magazines. You can also license your photographs uh, for others to use in producing calendars, t-shirts, posters, uh, hats. Uh, they could be put on backpacks. There's many applications. One of the interesting things about technology today, there's many, many ways and many processes that now exist for applying uh, artwork, uh, any kind of artwork, uh, to various fabrics. And so if you think about it, for instance, towels, you can do a whole line of photographic towels. Maybe you take pictures of the beach. Why not do a line of beach towels? Beach towels, get it? No, never mind. So these are some of the ways that you can uh, monetize, is what the word is, your photographs. Now some of the other things you can do in marketing these photographs, maybe you want to place some of your photos up for others to use for no charge. And you do that so that they can get an idea of the type of work that you offer. Okay, You can also offer um, your work for uh, hire, where others can hire you to do the photography and then through a negotiation, either uh, they hire you work for hire, which means they own all rights to it, or if you do work for them, you can own the rights to them. So there's many, many ways that you can apply your photography know-how. Now, it's important to know that obviously photography is a visual medium, therefore you should expose it in as many visual platforms as you can. The web, the internet and website is obviously one of the most important. Now I know many of you may be thinking about, well, I have photography, I put it up on the website, somebody's going to steal it. It doesn't work quite that way. First of all, most of the images that you put up on the website are going to be very low resolution anyway, or you should put them up as low resolution. That's one form of protection. The second thing that you can always do is you can watermark them. And I'm sure you photographers out there understand by watermarking, but basically you've got a a light background image that indicates that it is a watermark, you know, the watermark is there so that people just can't duplicate it and use it without your permission. So those are two techniques you can use to protect your photography online, but you definitely want to have an online presence. You should also have a catalog of some sort, an online catalog that people can go through and you should organize that catalog. Uh, one of the things that you don't want to do is just throw your photographs up willy-nilly. Have an organized catalog up there people can go through. Maybe you've got pets or buildings or cars or planes or whatever it is. Put it in some logical order. Also, there's other things that, sh that you can do with the photos if you're interested in licensing other product categories. Let's say calendars or posters or plates. You can also do some mock-ups. You can do some prototypes. Now, you can do those visually. As a photographer, you're probably pretty good with Photoshop. So why not mock up some product pictures? And you can put those on a page called licensing. That way, uh, companies or individuals who come to your website see your photos and say, hmm, these look pretty cool. They can see what they look like on other products. That's always a very exciting way to do it. The other thing that you could do with your photos, there's many um, sites out there today that you can produce on-demand products. For example, you can sign up with, uh, I believe it's called Zazu or Cafe, one of these 
types of sites where basically there's all this merchandise being offered and you can offer your images on these merchant on this merchandise but you don't have to produce anything till they actually order and from there it's done automatically they can use your image it's applied to the cup or the t-shirt or the hat or whatever it is that's another way for you to gain exposures exposure for your photographs and then of course um, other uh, tips for you that you might want to think about perhaps um, getting exposure to uh, online ebooks, online magazines, any place that you can showcase your artwork, your photographs, make them um, attractive. One of the things to understand about licensing photography is the image appealing? What is the application? Have people seen it? Many times you may have in your collection a lot of photos that you took uh, years ago and you never thought much about it. You might want to uh, take a look at them again. New technologies let you touch up these photos, create new ways of viewing these photos. Those are all opportunities for you to create new intellectual property uh, around your photographs. So these are just some tips for folks uh, who are photographers or looking for ways to leverage their photography beyond perhaps just uh, being paid to take the picture. So again, my name is Rand Brenner, President of the Licensing Consulting Group. I hope you uh, enjoyed our time together and found a few of these tips informative. and give you some tools to better monetize your photograph collections. Thank you very much.